Hey everybody. Oh, it's nice to finally be working in the basement on the dirty bench. Tonight, after a little bit of a sharpening video, which I'll post first, we are going to install my 262 XP chain brake and clutch cover. This is the one that my buddy found for me. Thank you, Aaron. Now you guys need to pop over and check out Aaron A. Lynch on YouTube. Aaron found this bad boy for me. It's kind of a unicorn of clutch covers. The 262 parts are pretty hard to find anymore. But tonight we're gonna to put this on. What's currently on my saw is a ground on 55 Rancher cover. Yes, they will work. You can get a 55 Rancher cover to fit on a 262. They do not work well, and you got to do a bunch of grinding on them to get them to work. So part of the problem with the actual 262 cover comes from the fact that it's a plastic clutch cover with aluminum inserts. And the other two that I've had, the original one that come with the saw and the last one I bought off eBay, both had the inserts pulled through the plastic. I made this piece to kind of bridge the gap and spread the force between the two aluminum inserts to help keep from pushing the insert through the bar. So as you can tell, you've got an aluminum insert here and aluminum, aluminum insert there. This little homemade piece of a dog just kind of helps. And this is the 55 cover. You've got to do some pretty extensive trimming through here and through here and here to get this clutch cover to fit on a 262. It will work in a bind. So that's a good thing. I may try to see if this plate will work on my new clutch cover. So we'll go ahead and take it off. If I can. Oh, hey, the screw's already loose. So if this will actually come off, we may see how it works with the 262 clutch cover. And I believe it's going to fit like a glove. Threaded hole lines up, everything should be good. That's actually going to be a lot better than my old one because the one actually off the saw has seen better days. And this saw was logged with. Uh, it's been through my dad. It was my dad's saw. So I'm rejuvenating it and may surprise him on his birthday with it. Uh, it was a scrap pile saw he had used and abused and kind of tossed it in the pile. And I dug it out of the pile and resurrected it. I like bringing these old beauties back to their, back to usefulness. Um, my dad is 72 years old and he is really hard on equipment. Uh, if you ever want to torture test something, you'll give it the old Fred test. If it'll hold up to the Fred test, it'll hold up to anything I'll throw at it. And we're going back on. Put my homemade piece back on to kind of help protect the inserts a little bit. And there you have it. That's my project for night. I have all of my 262 back as my 262. Love these saws. Great horsepower to weight. Just an awesome little saw. Anyway, y'all have a good weekend. We'll talk to you later. John Bob's out.